it's gonna sink this time. I know it. If the inputs work like at all, I would think that this would sink unless there's a serious problem because CPP made another update that should handle the fact that some of the inputs require different like boundary patterns. So what was the issue with this one today, this time? Oh, there's, well, there's no the issue yet. Well, the, the issue that we came with last time. The game is pulled input when the LCD was disabled. Oh. What the actual fuck? Uh, 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 I, uh, I haven't seen this before, but, uh, but apparently this game did that. Uh, yeah. And, uh, like, what does that have in terms of practical implications for when we would need to send inputs? Well, uh, okay, you know what I, I remember I was saying, like, okay, the game was pulling at LY91 or something? Yep. Well, uh, that, there's no concept of that since the PPU is disabled completely, so... Oh, yeah. There's no concept of a frame now, and they're pulling input at this time. Which... I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I don't know. You're, I don't know. I don't. It, I guess the boundary is going to be weird regarding this. So it could be very late, for all I know, or maybe it's super early. I don't know. Interesting. I would think a good way to try to handle it would be like to try to like switch the input state at the midpoint between each of like two inputs. But I don't know if that works. What? Uh... So if like if one input is needed at one time and another input is needed at the next time, then like could you not like change those inputs at like the, the midpoint between those two times? Uh, what do you mean? Within a single frame? Yeah, or... within, a, within a single frame even. Can you do that? Okay, I, single I, frame, you need sub GB hawk for that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean... I mean, the, 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 that's not... I mean, the, the main issue here is just, I guess, the lack of re resolution we have with GBI. Well, mm -hmm. we have a fairly high resolution, but when we encounter boundary issues, that's when like, undershooting or overshooting causes issues. Mm -hmm. So, like, if like, it's basically rounding is it rounding's being a bitch to us pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's that's it, like, we're one off. Yeah. Because of rounding. Or just, you know, general like, the lack of resolution with this. Gotcha. Which, even, I guess... We already have a lot of resolution along with this, but it's only with edge cases like this we run into issues, so... Yeah, yeah, where the input is suddenly not at, like, a consistent part of the, the boundary. Well, more it's like at the edge of a boundary, mm -hmm. which... Okay, in, in, um, usually, I guess in... In a, in a nice world, it's gonna be consistently on a certain boundary, so we just need to have the floor or ceiling and we can catch it. This, okay, the LC is disabled, so that that idea can be completely thrown out the window, so it can be inconsistent with this. Yep. So, I mean, I guess the, the thing that the, the new script does is it basically holds the button down until the next pull happens. Not necessarily when the next frame happens. If the next frame doesn't have pulling, it's still going to hold the button down until the next frame with pulling happens. Then I'll let go and push the other button. Where our button's on the next pole. Gotcha. So that's what it does. And it, it... I guess this mitigates an issue with... Um, actually, you can't really overshoot with this since the next frame doesn't have polling at this point. So the only... I guess you just need to make sure you're flooring. So you're not... Un so you're not undershooting. So, yeah. Cool. Er, wait, thank you. Ceiling so you don't undershoot, but... Oh wait, then, then again, this game has undershooting it. Un overshooting issues, so you want we want to floor it. And what, the times when it's, you know, doing the LCD disable pulling, 
we it's just gonna keep holding the input hand so it can catch it. So this new script that you did, it's it's more similar to how the GB Hawk script was working? By uh, new script, I mean I just modified the GB Hawk script and just put, punched in G uh, Gambit's values in. Gotcha. Which, that wasn't actually, that took like five minutes, really, so. I might test that with some other games and then see if I can make the scripts more similar again, because that'd be really nice for having like a single script you can run for any uh, BizHawk movie, regardless of the core. Unless, of course, somebody tries to run like a, a same boy movie or a Beast Nest movie, and then you're like, crap, <laughs> that's not verifiable. Those? Yeah, uh, no, fuck that. No, 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 no. Get that out. No, that's not gonna work at all. So uh, some somebody Same submitted a oh I, I completely I'm sorry I'm, I'm like completely shifting topics here but like so somebody sh submitted a movie on Bizwalk two two one without the BIOS enabled. Yep, I w I was resyncing it. I I got halfway through. It was actually fairly sync friendly. Then I got to a level that was like laggy as hell. <laughs> like a but but get fun fact it doesn't lag at all on two point. That old version at all. It doesn't lag at all. Wow. It lags in the newer version, but not this version. I guess then again, I should. I mean, I could check if it's maybe JBA doing something here, but actually, no. I checked their in the initialization routine. I didn't check for JBA at all, so that shouldn't cause a difference, actually. Well, just find a gameplay improvement of like two but... frames and then uh, submit that instead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, and here's, a, here's a strange part. Um, remember I said no lag? Well,. I might be lying a bit because, well, I was saying, okay, maybe I can resync this lag by just, you know, adding or inserting a frame every time there's a lag frame because that should be similar. No, 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 that's not how it works. That makes it, uh, like, overshoot its input a lot. So, that's indicating there is lag of the other version, I guess? But it's like some invisible lag that's not seen in the older version, but the newer version exposes it for some reason. It might be I, so I, I, old I that it's like handling the way that input, like frames are defined differently. You mean like equal length frames? Yeah, uh, yeah it's equal, equal length frames are enabled, and it, that, that persists from here so it, that's not really going to cause. Uh, okay. Fish. That's not going to cause. It, maybe it could cause some weirdness, but meh. This game is still beautiful. Art really cool. Yes, it is. Top tier art. Better than Pokemon. Ha ha ha. There's even like a 3D effect in the background art here. Yeah, I mentioned that uh, on the last stream that they added shadows. I mean, artificially, but it, it, they added shadows. Uh, mm -hmm. And they went, obviously went to great lengths to um, get all the little details, the the grime in in like corners or um, cracked floors or the what is, is essentially causes the walls to look like they have um, like a surface to them, like bumps. Ooh, a dungeon. So if you might be, uh, if you look carefully, you might have noticed something when I was attacking enemies. Uh, I it seemed like there was like an arrow that popped up that, that suddenly pointed to the enemy. That's me pressing start, which basically it's kind of like it, it automatically aims to the next enemy. That or if it, I guess it's only if an enemy is nearby. If an enemy isn't nearby, I have to press in a direction manually aim. Hmm. But that's basically how you, I can actually, you know, attack correctly or or aim an aim an item correctly. 
otherwise it'll just, uh, you know, fire wherever I'm facing, which might be bad. Does your health, like, slowly regenerate as you take steps in these dungeons? Yeah, that's just standard okay. mystery dungeon stuff. Cool. There's also a food feature with this. But I complete the dungeons fast enough where it doesn't fall to zero. <laughs> nice. I'm not even sure really what falling to zero really does in terms of actual consequences. I can't remember if that actually had any sort of conse actual consequences or anything that was actually bad. Like, so I would actually want to eat. Can't. I think maybe it, like help them regenerate or you go slower it's one of those two or something it probably does something but i don't know i don't know and i can't remember it's one of those That did look scary. What did you look like? Scared beyond all reason. Oh yeah, that's Yzma. Big Bass still be happy to know I was watching Spongebob earlier. Ooh, really? Is it the new Camp Coral or just some other Spongebob? Oh, we were watching classic Spongebob. No, nobody watches new okay. Spongebob, right? <laughs> I don't know. I saw, like, a, a sneak peek, whatever you want to call it, of, of uh, that new series. And it, I don't know. It just seems... I don't know. I don't there really... Still some... I don't really get why it needs to exist. Like, they're just doing literally the same things they did as, like, adult Spongebob and Patrick, but with, like, yeah. higher-pitched voices. <laughs> the, I know. The old voice actors died, so they're gonna have to get some kids in. So they will live long for this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Hi, Jerry. I mean, you can get adult voice actors that have a high pitch voice or or act yeah yeah that yeah that's easy you just get yeah uh, you just get some woman to do it there usually yeah, yeah. that's actually yeah that's actually how they usually do it jerry say hi to stream hi jerry say hi to stream it's look jerry look it's a stream and look jerry it's you it's you <laughs> Have you ever um, held Jerry in front of a mirror? Oh no, he definitely would not pass the mirror test. He's not that intelligent. <laughs> oh, you go puppy. Oh, you go puppy. Oh, you go puppy. Though I don't also, I, I, I kind of want to do that stuff, but I also don't want to because I, I feel like it might be unethical because I know too much, like, sciencey stuff. <laughs> like, I don't want to, like, test my own dog scientifically. Oh, I don't know. I just, uh,. My dog, um, when I was younger, my dog would uh, kind of, I don't know, like freak, like, freak out, like, oh, look, another dog, and start barking. Oh, yeah. The, the thing with dogs is, like, so, so sometimes they think it's another dog, right? But, like, sometimes they just, like, don't understand it because, like, they don't, un they don't understand what they're seeing if it's not, mm -hmm. like... Like, it's a flat, plain image. Like, it's... I don't know. Right, yeah. Um, but what I've, what I've read before, though, is that dogs do pass a, a kind of mirror test, but they don't pass it visually. They can pass it with smells. So if you, like, change the way that the dog smells, it will recognize that, like, something's changed about itself. It, it has a sense of self in its smell. But it doesn't have a sense hmm. of self and what it like sees of itself. Interesting. Whereas like human identity is heavily 
based around what how we see ourselves. Yeah. Okay, so it didn't desync like it did very first time. Okay, and now we can see if it passes the second test. I've been gone for 17 minutes. And now now we also Now we also get to hear the my favorite soundtrack of this game. And no, that's not the level up sound, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh, that was very fortuitous RNG on that 2F. Isn't the RNG like basically entirely spawning the ladders nearest to you? Well, I mean, the entire floor is randomly generated, mm -hmm. so... Oh, there's a ladder. Along, there's along there with, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, along with the uh, enemy patterns and stuff, yeah. that's random, but it's self-contained uh, in each room. Okay. I noticed you, like, didn't take the stairs immediately there. What was going on there? Uh, I need to go grab that item for the boss fight. Uh... I, I die if I don't get it, so, heh. <laughs> gotcha. And that was actually the best item, well, the best thing I can actually grab. Hey, Crazy Jesse. I think we should see pretty soon here whether or not we're going to get through the next uh, snag we had. We had two snags last time we tried to play this, and then we rebased the input dump script on a more accurate one. Also, um, CPP, I got a word from, who was it, uh, Astronomus? Uh, she's in the... LADX community was trying to save oh, yeah, that. a run. Um, might, we might want to get Astronomus that new script to see if they can, or if she can uh, get that running. Yeah. Apparently she has like a whole GBI verification stack now. Test things. Okay. Dang, Zoomers getting their JVI setups to console verify things. <laughs> Dang, people d doing what we do and enjoy. <laughs> nah, it's great. <laughs> Love to see it. So, uh, something you might have noticed, um... I've actually was able to avoid the only able to stop when I hit a wall by uh, well I basically don't hold the B button to go to the fast mode so that doesn't those rules don't apply with that usually it might be better just to take an extra step so I don't have to do that. But in this case, I needed to do that because of enemy patterns and manipulate them. Well, it's sick now, so, uh, that's good. Yeah!
What the heck is going on in this scene? This is the part where you'd love to have that fan translation. I'm guessing, like, friend hugs other friend too tightly and then starts slapping him around the room to wake him up. I don't know. need somebody to give commentary in English of just what they think and is happening. And now we see that the, the weasel is uh, really hurt. Wow. So now we don't have to deal with weasel for a while. <laughs> this makes no sense! Uh, remember we got fucking beat up by that, uh, floor. So now the Lord is uh, has that skull thing, and uh, he's uh, crazy, I guess. Interesting. He's going to take over the world, or I mean the desert, uh, full of sand. And now we get a nice double fill there. How did you figure out how to um, navigate the menus when we can't read any of it? Uh, I basically didn't learn Japanese, I just clicked buttons. 
fair. <laughs> just like test out what everything a, did. Yeah, that is a valid strategy. There you go. And so apparently Sharon's a ninja. Well, I guess that's all I'm getting out of this, I guess. That was a very nice window effect they had there. Is it an Amigasa or a Kasa? There's also a Jingasa. I think it's called a Kasa. It's different from the typical Asian conical hat, or Asian rice hat, or coolie hat, or oriental hat, or farmer's hat, as is known on Wikipedia. It's different because the Japanese variant is flat on the top, whereas the typical conical ones have like come to a point everywhere else in East Asia. Great, the girl's doing some voodoo magic. Scary. Great, the Lord's doing some voodoo magic now. Oh, there is a specific Ronin Gasa. Casa worn by Ronin. And now the Lord wants to murder us. Ooh, that's scary. 
don't want to get murdered. An evil guy wants to murder us? Wow, how original. And now we got kicked in the balls. Oh no. Well, I, I don't know about the balls part, but that makes it funnier. Whoa, that was scary. Oh dang. Oh, so that's why he was so evil. Because an evil spirit was possessing him. That explains a lot. This lightning doesn't really make a lot of sense. Magic voodoo magic. Yes. I feel like if we could read this, the uh, the main character's friend would probably be really funny. Like, as a character trait. based on how he acts. Oh no, the Lord's in bed and he's really hurt. I wonder why. Go outside, Jerry. Yeah. Okay, you guys keep doing your thing. I'm gonna take Jerry outside. Just.
Oh no. The desert's having a really bad case of pimples. Music, so that means something important is going on. But the important thing is, I don't know. Best guess is they've all convened this meeting to to fight back evil together. By that, it means send Sharon to go fight <laughs> alone. <laughs> Pretty much, yep. Oh no, the weasel's back. You know, maybe if you go to that electric thing, you might be electrocuted. Nah, that's just a your imagination. We've survived horrible voodoo magic. I'm sure we can survive a little bit of flashy lights. So this is the last dungeon, so, uh... How long is this task? It's 55 minutes long overall, I think? Okay, we're about, about 15 minutes to go, then. It's not really related to- it's not because of Pokemon SG Dungeon, it's because I already tasked the uh, prequel. Because... That thing had a game end glitch. <laughs> yeah. Did, did we already know it had a game end glitch, or did you find, like, just randomly looking through games that that one had a game end glitch? 
No, uh, Thunder told me that it had aids from pushing up opposing directions for some reason. And then I went home again and went to, found the credits function from that. Oh no, the really bad case of pimples in the desert. <laughs> They're really focusing on it. It must be very important. Also, apparently there's a barricade in the where city did, for something. Where did all this junk come from? <laughs> uh, I, I, I think... It, crazy, Jesse, were you going for the Star Wars reference there? My resolve has never been stronger. Sand oh. people! Yeah! Whoa! Uh, Whoa! More like sand version of Bigfoot. Sand golems. Oh, so that's why they stuffed a bunch of stuff to this front of the city. Jerry, come here! How the fuck did they even know this? Yeah, I was I thinking that too. Like, how did they know that they were gonna turn into giant golems? Jerry? Jerry, you're being naughty. Come here. Come here. Come here. Jerry? Oh, we're through the dungeon. Now we have two boss fights. Alligator? <laughs> By the breathing dragon. Uh, looks more like an alligator to me. There's no wings. Well, no, that's because of the devil thing. Uh huh. is going on now? <laughs> no one knows. 
the Dark Skull was destroyed, and uh, okay, apparently the same people are still attacking, so uh, something is up. Ah, this scroll was supposed to be controlling the Sand people? This is like the plot of Star Wars Episode One. Star Wars Episode One, Two, and Three didn't happen. They don't exist. Whoa! Now there's what some is giant that ugly thing? Demon boss monster thing. Dude, that's cool. That's a cool boss. That's some sick art. I've seen Game Boy Advance games that have considerably worse art than that. And and you know, because I've I've shown Carnage on stream. Oh, totally agree with you, Crazy Jesse. Yeah. Now the better question is, which group of, of Star Wars was worse than the other? Oh, the ugly thing's dead now. Good. Nice. That's the end of the game, right? Surely. No, now gonna... we have a couple minutes of text boxes that I have to pass through. <laughs> no! Text box mashing! Not GG yet. So it isn't over like until the fat Taskbot sings. Or something like that. Oh wait, did did I actually add the last input manually this time? I remember that the script doesn't handle that correctly. Oh no. CPP, I swear to God, if you gave me a script that doesn't have a last input, I'm checking. It does, don't worry. I mean, don't you want to play okay, through this 55 minute task again? I mean, yes, I love this game. This game is my favorite game to play on the Game Boy. Better than Pokemon? It's it's just a really good game. No. It, it would be much better with the English translation, probably, though. Probably. I still think it reminds me of Final, Fa like, top-down Final Fantasy games. Thick assisted speedruns? What? What's going on now? Oh, that was the last text box they actually mashed through. Everything um, now doesn't actually require mashing. So, a couple minutes 
the text boxes until the credits. Oh, so is is the task actually like survived now? We we did it. We synced. Yeah, everything synced. Woo! Thirty-seven. Give it up for Task 37! GG. And now we actually get credits. Yay! Yay, yeah, credits. Noise. We can't read the credits, but we know that they're credits. Yes. They're clearly in the style of credits, and we saw that the game's name showed up again, so probably credits. All these people that we can't applaud because we don't know their names. So, um, the CPP, you were saying that this, uh, this task that just was submitted, um, Lucky Luke is probably too complicated to simply resync. Um, I mean, I mean, it might be resyncable, but, eh, eh, I don't know. I want to I want to see first, like, see, see if I, you know, the lag thing, I could maybe see if that's just, maybe it's the bios being added. Or if, you know, just slapping the BIOS on that old version will, you know, actually sync it. Which, well, I guess, even then, I guess I would probably just prefer just posting that so, you know, so we can have that, so the BIOS can be on the, you know, the thing. Mm -hmm. Instead of, you know, dealing with, you know, no BIOS. Why the fuck did you not select the BIOS? Yeah, that's just like, why would you even do that? That's not how you usually do tassing accurately. Remotely accurately. 